Welcome to Youth by Recharges, our online youth group for youth. Today we are talking about the theme of fostering happiness. Specifically, we will be talking about Matteo Farina, a young Italian boy who died in 2009 at the age of 19, who is well on the road to sainthood, with Pope Francis recently declaring him venerable, making him one step closer to canonization. The reason Matteo fits so perfectly with our theme of fostering happiness is because at the essence of who he was and how he lived his life for God was, a, was the ability to live a happy and fulfilling life through transmitting happiness to others. And it is described that, he's, that he was able to leave a trail of happiness wherever he went. Matteo, just like all his friends, loved sport, loved music, loved going to school and playing with his friends, but he was also a young boy who was fully living his life for God. He was attending Mass regularly every week, going to confession regularly, and praying a rosary daily. He was striving for sainthood. When Matteo was nine years old, St. Padre Pio revealed to him in a dream a message that launched his mission. Padre Pio said to him, If you manage to understand that who is without sin is happy, then you have to teach it to the others, so that we can go all together happily in the heavenly kingdom. This was a catalyst for Matteo's mission, and Matteo went on to say, I hope to succeed in realising my mission as an infiltrator among young people, telling them about God. I look around me and I want to enter in young people's lives, quietly, like a virus, infecting them of an incurable illness, love. However, when Matteo was 13, he was diagnosed with cancer. But this stumbling block did not faze him. His faith continued to get stronger and his love for God continued to get stronger as well. He was truly offering up his suffering for God. His family and friends said that even in the hospital, he left a trail of happiness. He smiled at everyone he met. He smiled at the doctors, the nurses and his fellow patients. It was truly apparent that you could see the love of God through him. So even in the midst of his illness, Matteo was offering up his suffering to God and he continued to thank God daily and praise God for the gift of life. Matteo sadly passed away at 19, but he left a legacy behind of a strong witness to God and the ability to transmit happiness through anything. So our challenge for you this week is to take some tips from Matteo and to remember that even when experiencing suffering, even if it's not to the scale of Matteo's, it is still so important to remember to transmit happiness in all situations. And so just like us in quarantine, you may be experiencing some sadness. You may be thinking, why are we doing this? Why is this happening now? I just want to go and live my life. But it's important to remember that we still have the ability to transmit happiness and to leave a trail of happiness wherever we go. So our challenge for you this week is to perform a random act of kindness and to continue that trail of happiness and the legacy that Matteo left behind for us to follow. Happiness is a fruit of the faith. And as Matteo described, we as Catholics must endeavour to be a mirror that reflects the clearest possible image of Christ to others. So this week, we challenge you to perform that random act of kindness and to leave a trail of happiness.